Okay. Hey guys, this is Hex Magica. Welcome Hi, Hex to Magica. Fucking Hellscape. Um this is part seventeen of the Final Fantasy V Let's Play, brought to you by Final Fantasy Wiki. Sorry for the delays, I accidentally deleted my save after beating Omega the first time, and had to do pretty much the entire game from scratch again. So yeah, that was a thing. With me today is... That yeah, is... This is Drake. Hi. My name is Steve, but you can call me Skate Mom. I'm gonna call you Larry. You can also call me that. What about Jerry? I'm yeah, you can call me that, sorry. What about you, I am the wall with cuckoo cuckoo? If you call me if you call me Jerry, there's a curse in your house forever. That's cur the curse is this. The curse is this. Every time you try to look for a pair of matching socks, oh, you'll no, never you're find them. A panda. Ever again. Yeah. Let, let's what just version you. called them a panda? Uh, this is the GBA version. Oh, okay. I don't remember this. I think I would remember fighting a panda because that is one weird-looking panda. I'm just glad he See, doesn't know kung fu. This is what this I is, this that is what Pen is. If you haven't seen that movie, it's actually pretty good. I saw it this weekend. Okay, I haven't. I didn't even know there was a third coming out. To be oh, honest. Oh yeah. It's, it's not as good as the second. I think. I think the second's best, but it's it's good. It's a good end of the series if they end it. I still haven't seen the second. To be honest. Oh, see the second, dude. Gary Oldman is the villain. Enough said. Gary Oldman is the bad guy. That seems fair. Um. But, yeah, as can the, be seen... The only reason you're still alive is that I find your stupidity mildly amusing. Do, do, you, know so that awesome. Gary, do you know that Gary Newman is older than Gary Oldman? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <sighs> and my mind is blown. But yeah, a panda is a shit source weak boss... And I could have killed him even faster if I had black magic, but black magic is trash. I'd have had a chance if he knew kung fu. Yeah, he, he does have someone who knows kung fu. He's got barts. I'm oh, sorry, he got butts. <laughs> wow, this guy's really it's a thousand-year-old book. How does the book stay together if it's like two thousand? No, you see, you see, he opened the book. It crumbled in the dust, and now. Bert has a lawsuit from the government, a minister of culture hanging over him. Yeah. Like, bam, Bots is just gonna get wrecked by the long dick of the government. And this is Well, what... <laughs> if you want to use that metaphor, then sure, we can go, we can go with that, but... <laughs> but, yeah. So, this... Um, yeah, so this part of the dungeon, it's, it's fucking boring. Like, the yeah. dimension, it's just like... Her it looks cool. It looks cool, but in fact it's just random encounters with annoying enemies a billion times over. And now we get to the part that the city are used. Yeah, like... Which I think is the coolest part of this dungeon, I'm not even going to yeah. lie. Yeah. Yeah, so just in, in true to city of fashion, it takes all the good things and all the coolest things about the previous games it makes them bad. Until they made yeah. the sequel. The original game took all good things about the original series and made them bad. Well, the arenas were still cool. Yeah. I, I found The this... thing that bugged me is like they tried to pass the Magitech Research Facility off as Kefka's Tower. No, it's not. It's the Magitech Research Facility. Well, let's see the tower if you're going to say it's Kefka's Tower. Well, wasn't the implica- like, I don't know, isn't the implication, like, in-game that the the research facility becomes a part of it? I don't know. Yeah, well, it did in the Final Fantasy VI, as rooms from the factory are in the tower, but still, you know, that's- I don't buy that, no. I don't know. This, like, I don't- <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, this is- this, this Final Fantasy okay, is- really... Just a sec, guys, just a sec. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting. Oh, I should probably pause that, okay. maybe. I don't know. Are you waiting? No, it's okay. I'll, I just uh, uh, had to talk to someone. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. 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 
Okay. I feel like you could edit like ninety percent of that out. No. Wait, no, 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 no. That was po that was poetry. Are we talking about how we're mistake? gonna edit the LP? Because I think that sounds like a grand idea. Okay, what we what we're gonna do is so it's gonna add some lens flare like right about now. We're fighting the boss, right? So this is this is Azul Magica. Magic and, and Azul Magica means in Spanish, uh, white white tower. And um, you see, I thought Azul was uh, Spanish for blue. No, no, no. no, no Azul, it's, Azul, 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 Azul is white. Magia is towel, um, and it's the reason why it's called white towels because you know at one point when he was very young he had a bunch of white towels right as you as you normally do because he went to a hotel once and took them <laughs> <laughs> and you see as he got older he dyed them red and green um, so the name is kind of anachronistic you know I, really, I thought it was really sad and I can't tell if you're trolling or not it's Skype just assume he is old I know I know that that. I try, but sometimes my brain forgets. Actually, actually Azul, Azul Magica is actually he's actually a, he was actually a famous uh, Spanish noble. He was that was his nickname, and that's why he has a ruff here. It's actually a representation of the famous noble, and he was actually famous for walking into people's houses and hitting his big club. Um, he was actually uh, burned at the stake in 1558. Um, mostly because uh, he once hit a you know an a important nobleman with his club, and that was just. Really not a cool thing, and this this fight here is actually a representation of what happened to him. He was beaten up by a bunch of people. Go home, Mostly. Skate. I think you're drunk. <laughs> in in then, other words, what's... And 500 years later, they were... Or 400 years, I guess. 400 years later, they were unearthed by Hitler. Even though Hitler see, didn't even invade Spain. You see, the, th the thing that happened is, the reason why they killed Azumagia in Spain in 1558 is because he turned it to a save point, which is actually very useful. They were actually in very small quantities back then. It was actually a luxury. They also have a save they point. also wanted his sick blue magics, of which he used none because I killed him too fast. Well, I mean, magic. Everyone know, everyone knows he doesn't use the the towel. He doesn't use the white towel spell unless you know you actually let him do it. You know, hitting someone with a towel that's wet, like slapping them with it, it actually hurts a lot. Yeah. Um, these are sort of mini bosses here. Essentially, there's like six or seven of them, um, and they they have like 10k health in one form and like double that in the next or some shit. Um, and they're literally the most annoying fucking thing. Cause you've got to like. Uh, are you sure? Because after listening to Skate the Rant, I have to question that. <laughs> I, I've sort of just filtered Skate out half the time. Yeah. Just just ignore what he says, and then at the end make some allusion to Hitler, and it all works out just fine. Yeah. Scaife just Godwins us all. Hey, wait a second. It was it was Catus who made the Godwin reference. It wasn't me. Well, let me, let me know, let, let you all know. I am a Godwin-free person. <laughs> so you are Godlose? I am a Godlose. <laughs> And there you got the ruby slippers, which are actually from uh, the, the Wizard of Oz. Um, Dorothy used those, but she flipped her heroes three times together, and she said, there's no place like home. She actually ended up in a bunch of really bad sequels in the 1970s. You want to know something? I, I swear to God, drugs were involved in this. There was an archetype in the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game called Cosmo. K-O-Z-M-O. I think I've talked about this on the chat. The idea with Cosmo... It's an archetype of, wiz of cards based on a crossover between the Wizard of Oz and Star Wars, where Dorothy and Glinda are Jedi, and the Wicked Witch is Darth <laughs> Maul, and the Ruby Slippers are depicted as an X-Wing fighter, a red-painted X-Wing fighter. What? We're dealing with catastrophe at 100 Gs. What's the f but Somehow 100 fuck? Gs doesn't make you unconscious. 100 Gs just cancels your float. Yeah. So I'm just, just interested now in Final Fantasy VI, it was degraded to 50 Gs. I guess they figured, what, is 100 too much? I don't know. Yeah, well, they ran out of money. It was, a, it was inflation. I'm pretty sure a person... <laughs> like, if a person got subjected to 99 Gs, they wouldn't be on the ground. They would just be paste. Well, it depends which way the Gs are going. When the Gs are going up, then, you know, they'd be, they'd be flying to the sky. Yeah. yeah, but that's a plopsism, and they're going down if it's dragging them down. Yeah, well, we they could be dragging them up. We need to get the Mythbusters on this. How many Gs can a person take before they get flattened? 
Like if you were hover, if you were hovering above the ground by six inches and hundred G's were exerted on you, what would happen to your body? I'm pretty sure.